episode. That song literally came out uh, from this week 12 years ago. 12 years ago. Oh, hell no. oh man. Wow. Fuck. I will tell you how stream is going to be. It's going to be sad, dude. But in the best way, obviously, because we got Mr. Noah Khan. Yes, a six season deluxe, dude. Seven tracks. Oh my lord, dude! I gotta be real. That's that's a little much for a deluxe. I feel like he might as well just put out like a separate EP. Like to me, like a deluxe album is like four tracks max. Any more than that, it's like all right, just just start something new. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm not. I love me some Noah Khan. You know it. He even freaking knows it, dude. Send me a DM being sweet as hell, talking about how the video has shown so many people his music. Ugh, I'm flattered. Oh, Noah's so cool, bro. Because I know him now, personally. Because I'm famous. <laughs> I'm so unbelievably fucking famous now, guys. You'll never believe it. Boom. No, I'm not, gonna, I'm not letting it get to my head, okay? I, I can't. I can't. Y'all can't gas me up that much. I will, I will get to a dangerous percentage of, of gas. I'll be leaking out. But yes, I also hit, we hit 500,000 subscribers as well this week. So that's pretty cool. I'll do one, of, I'll hit one of those for 500K. I was not really trying to make it a big deal because numbers, whatever, dude. But thanks. I will let you stand there and applaud me. That's okay. Enough sucking myself off, dude. Sorry, let's get back to the actual music, the actual important shit on today's stream. Oh, hopefully I have enough tears. Ah, oh, only one way to find out, folks. Stick season, we'll all be here forever. Oh, forever stuck in our hometown, dude? How dare you? Forever listening to this sad ass music? Oh, you son of a bitch. Seven new songs, a lot of songs, a lot, but we're gonna get through them all, all right? They are Your Needs, My Needs, Dial Drunk, Paul Revere, Paul Revere, are we getting constitutional, dude? No complaints. Hey, hey, he's already calling me out for saying it's too many songs. Sorry, bro, no complaints, okay? Call your mom. Oh, you son of a bitch. Sometimes you can just tell from the title but that son of a bitch is gonna make me cry. Next, you're gonna go far, explicit. How far? Hopefully pretty fucking far, dude. And then lastly, a view between villages extended. So we get a little bit more of the previous tearjerker, baby. I will let you know before we get into it, my sciatica is acting up. So if I just, you know, have to pop one of these guys. Why my ass, God? Out of all the bones and parts of my body that I use on a day-to-day -day -day basis in my job, why would you take my ass? You just decided to pinch my nerve in just the right spot where I can't groove. I'm stuck. Maybe this is his way of telling me to like chill the fuck out, you know, and like listen to some sad ass music. Do it, stop dancing. Your needs my needs. Tell me about our needs. You tell me about the needs that you've been having. Oh, well, who is I? Who is I to watch you wilt? Watch me wilt? Why am I wilting? You ain't gotta tell me what it means. Ooh. Trace the outlines of your dreams. This low end. Cross that county line I promise to be there this time That low end guitar is so... Oh... It reverberates through your whole body, dude And he's promising to be there You were a work of art That's the hardest part Oh... Oh. How thin like dogs in the light oh. of the moon Woo. Holding our breath after 1.32 wow. It was a work of art He was a work of art That's the hardest part to Spiral out To try and flow To see a friend See it goes, bitter brain. 
Always strong. Oh, I got goosebumps. Oh, yeah, I got goosies. First one, bro. Ah, oh, the subtle change. That's crazy how that opens up, bro. Oh my god, it's just so like it's one of my favorite things that like artists like Noah and that he does personally is how he just invokes this sense of like build through his production. Like you start to hear a little bit of like the lower harmonies, like the lower end kind of stuff, kind of like subtly brings you in. But as it just explodes, you get this huge release of distorted like high end guitar and it's it just blows you out of the water. Well, who was I? Who was I to watch you wilt? You ain't got to tell me what it means. Trace the outlines of your dreams. You'll always be a flower on my skin and the paint that I'm in. And it's all the same. I'm the losing touch, the waiting game across that county line. I promise to be there this time. Dude, who's he talking to? Like, I just feel the tension in this. Like it's some kind of relationship that's gone awry. In the chorus, he says, you are a work of art. Only one chorus, by the way. One verse, one br chorus, one bridge, outro. That's it. it. He says what needs to be said and there it is. You were a work of art. That's the hardest part. <sighs> were, like past tense, howling like dogs in the night of the moon, holding our breath after 132. That sounds dangerous. You, not that dangerous. You asked me why I wasn't saying a word. I'm naming the stars in the sky after you. I was a work of art. That's the hardest part. To spiral out and to try to float, to see friend, to see a ghost, bitter brained, always drunk, Rail thin, Zoloft. Oh, subtle change, shorter days. Talking about the daylights. Oh no, he's talking about depression. Seasonal affective disorder, SAD. Literally sad. What's up, Travis? He, him. SAD. What is the next one? Dial drunk. We're drunk texting, dude. All right, which X are we hitting up? Cindy, huh? Maybe, potentially? I Ooh. promise to forget you now But it's raining And I'm calling drunk and Oh, and it's raining is drowning your perspective Okay Come on, yeehaw, come on, let's go any fall. Am I honest still? Am I half the man I used to be? I doubt it Forget about it, whatever It's all the same Woo, anyway. vocals! Sir! You were all for hanging up. 
I die drunk, I die drunk, I die. Oh, mm. I love the change in the lyrics, bro. All, like, as the last part of the chorus, like, the I'll die I'll drunk, I'll die I'll drunk, I'll die for you. Kind of like he's also, like, slurring his words a little bit, you know, like, as he's talking to them on the phone. Like, dude, oh, that's so good. Dude, nobody's music makes me want to milk a cow more, bro. I'm going to be real. I want to be on a fucking farm right now, dude. Fucking squeezing those teeth, dude. <laughs> Noah, you want some milk, buddy? <laughs> yeah, and we'd share a pint together. <sighs> Damn. One can dream. It just makes me want to, like, be on a farm. Like, that's really how it makes me feel. Just very, very... <laughs> emotional. I remember I promised to forget you now, but it's raining and I'm calling drunk. And my medicine is drowning your perspective out, so I ain't taking any fault. Oh. The medicine is drowning his per, their perspective out. Like he's not even considering like the history that they had. He's literally just drunk. He's drunk as he's pissed drunk. I ain't proud of all the punches that I've thrown in the name of someone I no longer know. Oh. What a bar! For the shame of being young, drunk, and alone, traffic lights and, radi and transmitter radio, I don't like that when they threw me in the car, I gave your name as my emergency phone call. Oh, dude. Honey, it rang and rang. Even the cops thought you were wrong for hanging up. Oh my God, dude. I'm sorry. That is, that is such a bar. Being drunk as, <laughs> as fucking giving your ex's phone number as your emergency call, calling it, and then her being like, nah, I'm not bailing your ass out. See you later. Even the cops being like, damn, that's, she kind of savage for that shit. Thank you, sir. Just let me call. I'll give you my blood alcohol. I'll rot with some burnouts in an, in the cell. Well, I mean, it's not, it's, it, it, uh, I mean, that's like the local, that's like the local, like you'd be, you would be thrown in like the local tank, right? I don't know if it's fair to call those people burnouts. People get arrested for all kinds of stuff. Are you a burnout? I'll change my faith. I'll praise the flag. The LGBTQIA flag. Honestly, kind of forward thinking. Are you in danger to your, are you a danger to yourself? Well, fuck that, sir. Just let me call. <laughs> That's not going to get him on your side, brother. Uh, yeah, he's, this song sounds like he kind of wrote it like in that drunken state as well. It, it bleeds through the music a little bit. I like it. It's nice. It's, uh, definitely poppy. Well, let's get constitutional, dude. Constitution, roaring it up. Back in the old 1776 with Paul Revere. Tell me about Paul Revere. What did he do? Who was Paul Revere again? Was he the guy with like the, the lantern? He's the British. He's, he's the OG whistleblower? But okay, uh, <laughs> let's get into Paul Revere. See what it's all about. Ooh. Ooh, it kind of sounds like we're riding. Through the rain. Yeah! Counting line, I'm counting down. Mailboxes until my house. This place had a heartbeat in its day. Veil bought the mountains, and nothing was the same. One day I Oh, I love that. I love that chord, that minor. Oh. I'll just pretend I didn't hear. Woo, okay. Oh, he jumps up and rides it down. Oh, that's such a good melody. from out of town. He's just blowing in on the horse, dude. Don't get too attached. Dude, I love the the cowboy spaghetti kind of guitar. Ooh. Patch of grass where we bury the dog And the world makes sense Behind the chain link fence If I could leave, I would have already left Hold the instruments, bro. Oh, bro, stop, stop. Oh, it was so smooth, 
Liza Brow. Are you kidding me? I love. I'm in. Lo I'm in love. Yeah, I'm in love with that outro. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was pretty fire, bro. I was gonna say I really appreciate how he's kind of like. Obviously, this is like folky pop music, but he's kind of including like a uh, a few other kind of like staple production elements from like spaghetti western type stuff, like those like that super spaghetti western type stuff. Like he was even like mimicking the the banjo line with one of the guitars as like one of the transitions in the in the previous song before this one, and that's just so cool. Like I love instrumentation. Like give me so much of the instrumentation. That's kind of like why I I realize that I do gravitate towards like acoustic stuff is because you can just tell that they're like very technically skilled and I love hearing technically skilled musicians. I get a lot of that from Noah Khan. So, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sign me up for that one. Put my John Hancock on that one, baby boy. Let's get it, dude. All right. All right. All right. All right. No complaints. Absolutely not. No complaints. And the next song is called No Complaints. Let's get it. Ooh, drums? Oh, with a creeping tempo. Oh, I love this dynamic change. Oh, this is so sweet. I thought I had something, and that's the same as having something. I get mad at nothing, blame my dad for something. I put Dude, the, the, the room creaking? Showed up. Oh. I said, time the night showed up. Now the weight of the world ain't so bad. Mm. Oh, the slide. I saw the end, it looks just like the middle. Got a paper and pen and a page with no space. Fill the hole in my head with prescription medication. Fill the hole in my head with prescription medication And forgot how to cry, who am I to complain? Wow, whoa. I'm a, I'll be real, hit me like a, second verse hit me like a ton of bricks. Ton of bricks in that second verse. Just put them in it, put them in a pillowcase, sneak up behind me and bash my head in. Oh, Jesus, bro. To me, the chorus is all about trying to write a chorus, <laughs> trying to write a song. Him saying that the end, he he saw the end, he, he... Verse one, I thought I had something, and that's the same as having something. Damn. I thought I had something, and that's the same as having something? Oh, dude, it just takes on this like 2020 vision approach of like looking back and, and realizing that you didn't act on something while you had it because you didn't think you were enough for some reason. But looking back and realizing that you had it was ha what, what was that you had it. Yeah! Oh, fuck, man. I don't know if that any of that made sense, but it kind of it does to me a little bit. It does to me. I pull no punches, then feel bad for months. Oh, thought I was raised better. Tried to fake better. Tried to blame weather, escape better. Definitely some Eminem style bars in there. <laughs> Hope the skin heals where the pain enters. I was raised better, so I fake better. Tried to blame weather and escape better. But the skin heals where the pain enters. Oh, but I finally got sewed up. Like he got himself together. He's like sewing up his wound, you know? I set a time and then showed up. You know, he 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 wanted to do something, so he made that point and he and he and he acted and he did it. And now the weight of the world isn't so bad. It says here on Genius that he might be talking about therapy. That's incredible. <sighs> and then in the chorus, I saw the end. It looked just like the middle. This could be talking about an attempt at his own, you know what I mean? Uh, because that would be the end, 
And the reality is that you think you're at the end, but it really does feel like the middle. You're still alive and your life still could go on. Oh, I got a paper and pen and a page with no space. I filled the hole in my head with medication and tried and forgot how to cry. Who I, who am I to complain? Verse two. Oh yeah. Now the pain's different. So he's, he got medication. Therapist prescribed him the pills. He took it, you know, he forgot how to cry. He forgot how to emote. It still exists, but it escapes different. It evades vision. It makes the rain different. Oh, makes you feel differently about the rain, dude. If I had, I love rain. I, I'm in love with it raining. Okay. And if some kind of medication made me feel differently about rain, no. Makes the news boring and my rage distant. Just made him not care. Just sucked all the feelings right out from underneath him. <sighs> High key, this is why I'm afraid to like take medication for my shit. Like if I'm being real, <laughs> I feel like, be, you know, I don't, I don't want to change at all. Like I know I'm not at my peak level of mental health, but like, hey, it's, we're working. We're clocking in every day. Yes, I'm young. I'm living dreams in love with being noticed and afraid of being seen. Oh, fuck. Oh, but the second part of that hits so hard. But I can finally eat and I can fall asleep. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Like, clearly the medicine helps in some issues, you know, like eating right, your appetite becoming, you know, healthy again, sleep schedule becoming healthy again. But at what cost? Just makes you go through life. We should move on <laughs> into more trauma. Let's get it. Call your mom. Have you called your mom today? You probably should. Before we even play the song, pause, you know, if you can. But, you know, make a reminder, dude. Call your mom. I talked to my mom today. Flex. Yeah, or not even your own mom. You could just call a other mom, a mom that you love. Dude, moms are everywhere, bro. Oh, you spy, but then again. That's absolutely part of the... Uh, yeah. That literally is, and it's in the same key too. Dude, that's Avatar, bro. You know, I recognize that shit anywhere, bro. Come on now, come on. Let's go, let's go. Cause I won't let you get the chance to never make them stay on the line with you the entire night until you Beautiful. Shit, what happened, bro? What happened? Spiraling again. Fuck! Oh! That's why he's doing it! He's been there. Jesus, punch, fall in love, give yourself a reason. Don't want to drive another mile without knowing your reason. So, won't you stay? Won't you stay? Won't you stay with me? Don't let this darkness fool you. All lights turned off can be turned on. Just belting in the back. Oh my God! Give me a second to breathe, right? Like, geez, man. Oh, oh, clearly about a friend going through an OD. Uh, damn, bro. All lights that are turned off can be turned on. Don't be discouraged. 
Yeah, this one hurts, bro. Uh, call your mom is painful. I like it because it kind of feels like when he's in that high register, he's like right next to the bedside hospital bed. And he's kind of like singing this as they're, you know, slowly recovering, hopefully. You're going to go far makes, makes you cry? All right, let's throw it in the litmus test, baby. Let's see if it's going to do it. You're going to go far. How far? All the way. The college kids are getting so young, ain't they? Oh. Correcting all the grammar on a spray paint. And I even gave up driving after nightfall. I got tired of the frat boys with the brights on. The worst. This couldn't land, or at least it was. It takes a strong hand and a sound mind. Yeah, dude. Fuck, fuck people who drive with their brights on. The new, like, Teslas or whatever that I just, like, constantly have the LEDs on. Oh, my God. <laughs> It makes me smile to know when things get hard. Ooh, you'll be far. Ooh, you'll be far from here. And while I clean shit up in the yard. Ooh, you'll be far. Ooh, Those damn, that damn dog. You'll be far. Just pack up your car, put a hand in your heart. Say whatever you feel, be wherever you are. We ain't angry at you, love. You're the greatest thing we've lost The birds are still sing, the folks are still fight The boards are still creep, the leaves are still die We ain't angry at you, love We'll be waiting for you, love And we'll all be here forever <laughs> And we'll all be here forever Falsetto harmonies, dude. Oh, shut the... Get out of here, bro, with the whistle. If you want to go... The, all the physical percussion. Oh, just taking it out for a moment. Winding everything back for a little fade out action. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, yep. That one hits. Take it from me. The long distance child. Five hours away from all of my other family members. Yeah. Good job, Noah. I'm in pain. An insurmountable amount of pain. Just gotta sit with that one for a little bit, you know? Can't really like dive right into the lyrics because I'm just gonna start crying all over again. <laughs> There's that one line in the chorus. Oh, you're the greatest thing we've lost. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, my little baby. As she eats pickles. Okra. It's, it's not pickles. It's pickles. It's, it's pickled okra. It's still not a pickle. Anything that is pickled is a pickle because it tastes like you a pickle. You wouldn't call a pickled onion pickles, would you? You're not going to believe me, but guess what? But guess what? I would call it a fucking pickle. Bada ba boom pow. Oh! You're only saying that for the sake of your argument. You expect me to say things for the sake of your argument? But you're incorrect. <laughs> Pickled okra technically makes it a pickle because all a pickle is is just a cucumber. It is a technique, yeah, but there's also things called pickles. Okay, we're having a full-on disagreement now <laughs> on stream about what is and what is not technically a pickle. I need to finish the Noah Khan album. <laughs> I'm just going to come in here and say. No, you're not. No. You would call a pickled onion a pickle. He's saying he would call it a pickle. That's a lie. Okay, all right, here we go. The view between pickles. Air in my lungs till the road begins. 
Dude, this song, bro. Ah. Oh. Feel the rush of my blood. I'm 17 again. <sighs> Matthew Perry, Zac Efron. I am not scared of death. I've got dreams again. Tell me about them. Big ass reverb. Oh, dude. Passed out to Brooke Road. Oh, goosebumps. I'm over the bridge. A minute from home, but I feel so far from me. Everything still. Oh, where's it gonna go? It's missing like a low, like a lo-fi. Ah. Well, life really as you make it. Yes. Well, I, for me personally. What did I say? Did I let? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shut the fuck up. Did I not just call that shit, bro? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, I, for me personally. Tell me, Ethel. What's it like? I found a town big enough for anything that I want. I mean, I'm not a city girl. <laughs> By it's any okay. means. Trafford is still has a lot of meaning to me because I grew up there. Well, I guess it's a small, small community of uh, people that really look out for each other. Are they talking about their whole That's town? the same way with anybody that needs anything. It's this community is there to help. But in the best way, you know what I mean? <sighs> well, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You know the drill. Bell notification. Check out the Patreon. Uncut, unedited this entire stream in all of its glory. Damn, dude. Shit. Ugh. No theme music. Just... Uh, really nice deluxe album, dude. Like I said, you know, seven songs feels like a lot, but this flew by, you know. I feel like all of these songs also just echo the tone of the, the album that they follow. It's really an incredible piece of work. Like, you can just really tell that so much passion and, like, strife and, like, stress and bottled up emotions are being released throughout each of these songs. Even, even the deluxes. So I'll go on record and say that I feel like Noah is probably one of my favorite artists that I've found this year. One of my favorites. And uh, I can't wait to see what he does next, dude. <laughs> Thank you for dropping this. Holy shit. Can I, sh can I bring up one thing before we move on? Can I bring up one little thing? This picture goes unnecessarily hard. And that's, all I'm, that's how I'm gonna end the video. Is that this picture right here with the dog, the chew toy, the icy road with him with that fit literally doing like the 
you know, I had to do it to him. Like I want, like I want to start, like just like cutting him out of this and putting him in different places. You know, just like Noah Khan chilling at Cracker Barrel. You know, ordering a, you know, deep fried chicken steak. <laughs>